All right, guys, so you may remember my last uh, laser install video a couple of videos back um, where I was up in Virginia, just kind of showing you some of that video here, panning around the shop. <clears throat> and I wanted to just drill in on um, the topic of oxygen cutting and show you just a little bit about this and kind of what's transpired since I was there installing that laser. So this uh, footage you're seeing right here is <clears throat> half inch plate and i was actually filming that and um adam the customer was driving the machine and i was kind of guiding him on on what to change so you'll see the result we're getting here this is half inch plate you can see the pierce is getting through in plenty of time um, i think this one here uh the the part wasn't dropping out exactly clean so we worked on it a little bit more with the focus but you can see the result there it's pretty nice so I want you to watch this three quarter inch, watch the pierce and notice how, when it breaks through the bottom of the plate and then how long the pierce goes after it. So this is kind of what you want. You want a safe, resilient pierce that's got a little bit of buffer built into the back end. When you get to the max thickness of your machine, this is three kilowatt, three quarter inch, you know, the max of what it can cut. So the other thing, the main thing I wanted to show you here is a couple of things. So you're gonna see here in a second, um, <clears throat> these first couple of, uh, cuts that we did, uh, weren't great. Okay. So you can see here that, um, it, it was kind of hanging up in there a little bit. Um, but then the edge was, you know, had some areas that looked good to them, but then they were also had some deep serrations in it. So Adam had stepped away and I kept messing with it. And um, you'll see here on this one that um, I really got it cleaned up and got it very smooth looking. So um, you can see that edge right there is uh, pretty dang smooth. You can see the others in the background there that that we had messed with. And um, but anyway, so this is how I left it. So fast forward, what, three weeks later now, um, he got ready to go cut a full sheet. I think he actually had a few sheets, maybe three sheets to cut. We were cutting this out of a drop. Um, and then he, uh, of course had some new sheets up there. And of course his first couple of cuts out of it were not great. And here's what he was getting. So after some back and forth text messages that you're seeing on the screen right here with the pictures and, you know, some parameter screens and some things to try, you know, just a couple of uh, minutes later he was uh, getting this result. So the main takeaway here that I want uh, you to understand is not only will someone else's parameters from another machine not work for you, even on your own machine from sheet to sheet, day to day, when you're cutting with oxygen, especially near the max of your power band, um, it's, it's a lot of uh, you know, work to keep it dialed in and uh, it's a skill that you need to focus on and you need to learn. So if you want to learn the basic principles behind dialing in all of your settings and keeping them maintained, I have a full tutorial on how to do that. You can go to RamseyCustoms.com, scroll down to the consulting training area, and then you'll see the options in there. So the Pro Cut series is what you want to just learn to dial in your machine. If you have a brand new machine and it's running SIP Cut, I also have the uh, training for that as well.